only got one slide. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with the slides. Woohoo! Right. <laughs> this is actual footage from 2017. Um, so in, in March 2017, I was in Austin, Texas. Uh, we were invited by the government to host three events at South by Southwest uh, Tech, uh, the tech bit of that conference. And uh, later that month, I was named one of the 25 most innovative people in Europe, Middle East, and Asia by the Holmes Report, a global marketing magazine. I was killing it. It was really good, and everything was great. And we'd had this fantastic run, and the business was growing. And then, don't worry, it goes wrong. It started to go wrong. And we'd been going for 13 years. And on our 13th birthday, this is true, um, we realized that um, the blip in sales wasn't a blip in sales. It was a catastrophic failure. And we were hemorrhaging a lot of money. And we had to, like our esteemed previous speaker, reduce our headcount somewhat from 25 people to 15 people. And, um, and on top of that, I managed to sort of spice up that drama with some personal life drama, because I was all stressed and I got drunk and was a bit of an asshole. And, you know, it was like a real epic midlife crisis coalesced into a summer of hell. Um, yeah, so it all did go wrong. And, um, and um, so <laughs> five years on, we, have, we did turn the business around. The, the, the single, homeless, bankrupt Dan Kirby didn't happen, even though, even though it was a likelihood at one point. Um, and now my business, is, which is called the tech department, we act as a plug-in tech team for impact-led startups. So we've got this very purpose-led business. And it's came out of the blow-up, and that's another story. But I was sitting with this thing, and I was, it had been an absolutely transformative experience for me. I am a better person and a better business person as a result of the blow-up. But I did feel a certain amount of shame about it, and <clears throat> I thought, well, what can I do to get over that dark energy? I thought, I know. I'll tell everybody about it and turn it into a podcast. And hence, the podcast, Honey, I Blew Up the Business, was born. Uh, the name, by the way, was a literal joke by someone who said, you wouldn't call it this, but how about... And that's what we called it. Um, so, uh, we've been, um, so I've interviewed now about 60 entrepreneurs from all over the world, literally. In fact, today, uh, Jason Kingsley, OBE, who owns Rebellion Games and 2000 AD, the comic book, and uh, he's a very interesting character. He, in fact, has 750,000 followers on YouTube where he dresses up as a medieval knight. Go figure. So I interview him uh, today. Um, but yeah, and we're now in the top 5% of global podcasts. Woo! And that wasn't really the plan. I just wanted to sort of help people not fuck up like what I did back in 2017. So the, 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 the instinct behind this was a, trying to help people, and we have a, an, an audience from all over the world who tune in every other week. And um, yeah, so I've got this podcast uh, talking about my worst moment. And it's been great um, uh, for me personally, just to sort of learn a new skill interviewing. And I've met a whole bunch of really interesting people from uh, the guests. But I've spoken to 60 people, many of whom with OBEs, MBEs, multiple exits, people in San Francisco, people in, the bar in Barbados, you know, really successful entrepreneurs. And I speak to them. Um, about their worst moments, or their worst moment. At the time, you know, like you just heard a story where it all went wrong, but don't worry, I sold it. It's cool now, I've got loads of money. Yeah, and, but if you dial it back, there's a moment here where that previous bit of the story hadn't happened, all right? And this is true in any biography or any story or film you watch, there's a bit where the hero is in the shit. And you don't know it's going to go right, and that's the drama. But that bit is where it's really interesting. So on this podcast, I go to that bit, right? So these people are literally, you know, sat in Barbados with their OBE. Um, but that, this bit hasn't happened yet, so we go and sit in there. And I get a lot of feedback from the guests saying that it's, quotes like therapy. And um, so, yeah, we go there. And my aim is to make this the rawest podcast in R-A-W, raw uh, in terms of storytelling within the podcast, so my new mission for next year. Uh, but so I've spoken to 60 people about their worst moments. I'm going to tell you what I've learned from that. And, I'm, and I'm, the, the big thing I want, I want you to, to, to take away is I ask often uh, at the end of the interview, what's the advice you should ignore? 
we've been dispensing advice, you know, online. We, uh, there's lots of advice for entrepreneurs. But I asked, what advice you, should you ignore? And I would say 80% of the people who reply to that say, the, you should just ignore other people. <laughs> so the advice you should ignore is all other advice, right? Now, obviously, with a caveat, there is a bit of you you need to listen to when you're taking in the advice. And that is your intuitive bit, <laughs> your intuition, your gut. And that's what the, so often people say, ignore advice, but listen to your gut. Because you get lots of information coming at you from the news, from people on stages, you know, from me or whatever. But your gut is the thing you should listen to. Uh, and, that is, and that sounds a bit weird, because how can I rationalize that? What's the data that proves the ROI on my intuition? Oh yeah, but Dan, that doesn't make sense. But what they say is you know, there's a cluster of brain cells down here, and in fact distributed across your body, that is your subconscious. And uh, that's what you should listen to. Because if you're not feeling it, you, know, you might not be able to articulate why, but you know when it's your story. All right? So, so the thing I've learned from speaking to 60 entrepreneurs about their worst moments, about the time they blew up their businesses or it all went wrong for them, was don't listen to other people. Do listen to your intuition. And, uh, so thank you very much. And please check it out. Um, Honeyabloodthebusiness.com at Business Blew Up.